Hello everyone, this is Pastor Frank DeMora with the End Times Research Ministry and BibleProphecyMan.com, two of my prophecy sites. Today is December the 4th, 2019. I want to bring you some startling information for anyone who doesn't know Bible prophecy and, for that matter, I know that there's a lot of Christians who will want to know the news that I'm going to be showing today because it has to do with a prelude to a war that is prophesied in the Old Testament. You're going to want to hear and see what I'm going to show you today because it's really important. Now just so you know, if you're new coming to my YouTube channel, if you go over to my prophecy sites, either one of which I mentioned today, you'll be able to download my book today for free. Just go over there, you'll see the page from my BibleProphecyMan.com site. And when you scroll down there, just above the emblem of End Times Research Ministry, you'll see the link for the download. And once you get to that link to the download, you'll be able to access my book in the section where it talks about the invasion of Israel, the prophecy that I'm going to be covering today. This news hasn't even made my book yet. And it is really relevant to what's happening in these last days, as you will see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to present the information. I'm going to let you hear the report so you don't even have to read it if you don't want to. Just listen to it as I show you the information and show you step by step how you can know for sure that our generation is the generation chosen by Jesus to see the second coming. And before the Lord does come back, there is going to be several battles, one of which is the Psalm 83, but I'm not going to be covering that right now. But it is linked to what's going to happen in the Ezekiel War, which will be after the Psalm 83 War. And the map that you're looking at right now is the nations who will be attacking. So listen to what I have presented for you, and you can count on it. And I'll connect the dots between Bible prophecy and current events so that you'll completely understand what's happening in the news pertaining to these last day's events. And please, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm doing everything that I can to keep the people informed about these last days and the closeness to the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Ezekiel War prophecy is found in Ezekiel chapters 38 to 39. That prophecy warns us a major attack will come on the tiny nation of Israel and it is going to happen in the latter days. The words, in the latter days, is very significant because it is a reference to a time just before Jesus Christ returns to earth. The enemies which are going to attack can be seen in the photo. You will see Turkey at the top of the names list. I noted that because of the news that just broke which I will cover. The Ezekiel prophecy not only tells us the specific names of the nations who will attack Israel, but the prophecy also gives the specific details from what direction the assault against Israel will come. Let's take a look at Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 16. And thou shalt come up against my people of Israel as a cloud to cover the land. It shall be in the latter days, and I will bring thee against my land, that the heathen may know me, when I shall be sanctified in thee, O G O G, before their eyes. The question to be asked is this. Is our generation at the point where we can see the prelude days of this Ezekiel prophecy from really taking place? The answer to the question is yes. How can I know for sure? First of all, we know the prophecy is talking about the time of the end because God tells us it shall be in the latter days. How do we know our generation is the one that will fulfill the reference to the latter days? That is easy. Let us read Ezekiel chapter 8 verse 8 and I will connect the dots for you. I quote, 8 After many days thou shalt be visited, in the latter years thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel, which have been always waste, but it is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely all of them. Once again we see the Lord use the words in the latter years, but this time he adds additional information for us. We are told when this will happen. Notice this prophecy will happen when Israel is brought back as a nation from the sword. When was Israel made a nation again? May 14, 1948, Israel was born a nation for the second time. How did that happen? 
Remember the reference to sword. That is reference to war. At 12 midnight of the rebirth of the nation Israel, Israel was attacked by the Arabs. It was the hope of the Arabs that they would destroy this new nation before they had a chance to grow. What about this part of the prophecy in part of verse 8? I quote, but it is brought forth out of the nations. That was fulfilled as Jews left the nations they were living in to go back to their homeland. Once there was a number of Jews living in Israel again and they witnessed their nation be reborn, they were attacked. So, we know for sure that we are living in those latter days of which God warned us. Do you need more proof? This next information will seal the deal. Let us take a look at what Jesus prophesied. Let me turn your attention to Matthew chapter 24 verses 32 to 34. I quote, Now learn a parable of the fig tree, when his branch is yet tender, and put it forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. 33 So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. 34 Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass, till all these things be fulfilled. It is very important to understand that the fig tree Jesus is talking about is the nation of Israel. What Christ is telling us in these scriptures is Israel will be born again and when they are still a young nation that is the time when we will see all the last day signs all at the same time. Notice what Christ said in verse 34, This generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. In other words the generation who witnessed the rebirth of Israel and while Israel is still a young nation. Hence the expression, when his branch is yet tender, that will be the generation who will witness the Lord's second coming. So, both Jesus and Ezekiel tell us the same thing. Ezekiel tells us in the latter days and Jesus tells us exactly when those latter days begins which is with the rebirth of the nation Israel. Before I cover the news that will show you we are on the verge of witnessing the Ezekiel war. I want to read Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 15 because it will show you the main direction the attack on Israel will happen. Verse 15 says, And thou shalt come from thy place out of the north parts, thou and many people with thee, all of them riding upon horses, a great company, and a mighty army. Do you remember I put Turkey at the top of the list of nations who will be attacking Israel? I did that for a reason. Turkey is directly north of Israel and Turkey is calling for an Islamic army that will destroy the nation of Israel. Ask yourself this question. Is it really a coincidence that Ezekiel shows us Turkey and its allies will attack Israel and now the generation who saw the rebirth of Israel are reading news giving us details exactly as the prophet Ezekiel already warned us about. Check out the news headline in red in the section from the report then I will connect the dots for you. Top advisor to Erdogan calls for creation of Islamic army for Palestine, December 3rd, 2019. Memory, a senior advisor to Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said last week that it was not possible for the Islamic world to give up on Jerusalem and called for the creation of an Islamic Army for Palestine, retired Turkish Gen. Adnan Tanriverdi, the founder of Turkish security firm Sada International Defense Consulting and a chief advisor to Erdogan, made the remarks during a speech at the International Israel Ethnic Discrimination Conference. Now keep that scripture in mind because I'm going to show you what I've taken from Ezekiel chapter 38, the war prophecy and where these enemies are going to be coming from and you'll see the list there and the head of the list is Turkey and then all of the other nations that you will see listed right here and it does tell us that they will be coming from the northern quarters and Turkey's directly north of Israel but it also says that many other people are going to be coming with them and we see where they're coming from because they're named in that prophecy so there's no guessing here. So you can see the arrows that are being pointed to the attack against the tiny nation of Israel. Now, let's go to the news that came out yesterday in December the 3rd of 2019 and compare the maps from Ezekiel, what he has told us in the Old Testament, compared to what this article talks about 
that Turkey wants to form this Islamic army to invade Israel. And you will find out that this is no coincidence. When you take a look at this map and compare it to where they say that they're going to be coming from, they're almost identical. In verse 9, it's said that they would be coming as a cloud that covers the land. And in their article, they show you all the jets that will be coming from the different areas of the Islamic nations onto Israel. And if you have that many jets coming on the tiny nation of Israel, it will look like a cloud covering the land. Could you imagine when the attack happens and the Israelis are looking up and they see these massive amounts of planes? It's going to look like a cloud. And this could never have happened in anybody else's generation. But now with the technology and the aircraft, it's here in our generation that it is possible to see that. And you have to keep in mind, Ezekiel lived a long, long time ago. He's trying to describe a battle of technology as that in the future. So jets to him would be as the clouds covering the land. Now I'm going to be placing the link at my website and when you click the link you can read the story that I was talking about today. And when you scroll down they'll even give you more information about the direction, the planes and whatnot that are going to be attacking the nation of Israel, at least the Islamic army that they want to put together. And as I said, this news that we're seeing is not a coincidence. This is a warning by God showing us in advance what he already stated so many years ago in the latter days of which you are living in. And to close it off, I said it already, but I want to repeat it again because this is so important. This could not have happened until Israel was born again as a nation. That was fulfilled. And it just so happens that you're living in a generation that Jesus prophesied about. There's no question about it. So you really need to pay attention to be on the watch as Jesus commanded, especially if you haven't received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior yet. If you haven't, today would be the greatest day for you and the beginning of a new life in Christ as you receive Jesus as your Savior. I don't know what you're waiting for. The Lord has given us all the information we need about the last days. He's preparing his children who are listening. And he wants you in that kingdom. And the only person that doesn't want you to go there, or doesn't want you to believe what, what I'm saying here today, is Satan. He's trying to keep you from eternal existence with Christ Jesus in heaven. So ask the Lord today to forgive you your sins. Tell the Lord you believe in his word. You trust in his word. Tell him that you believe everything that he has done for us, including going to the cross and dying for our sins, and then again resurrecting from the dead, going into heaven to prepare a place for us, and coming back just as he promised. And again, Ezekiel is part of that promise, the end day fulfillment of prophecy that will bring on the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Frank DeMora. God bless. Have a great day.